welcome to today's video. I'm actually going to show you what I recently ordered from Nespresso. So uh, just a little bit of an overview. The machines that I have is a Nespresso Virtuo Plus and then a Nespresso Cretista. So it's both a Virtuo line and an original line. So this one was just, from what I remember, because it's been a little bit since I got this package, I believe these are all just restocks of everything. So I'm going to start off with the pods for my Virtuo machine. And I'll tell you like what sizes they are and everything. So the first one is a restock of Melozio, as you can see here. So this one is a 7.7 .7 ounce pod, meaning that this is more like your coffee, your standard coffee size pod. And this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty gold. This one I love to drink ice and just when I just want a really fast um, cup of coffee. A coffee bay, aka my husband, he really enjoys this pod. So I just needed a little bit of a restock of this one. Next is going to be double espresso dolce. So I really enjoy this pod. I love more lattes than I do like regular cups of coffee. So you're going to see that I really do more like the double espresso pods. So again, this one's double espresso dolce. And I forget what the measurements of this one is. 2.7 fluid ounces. So this is what this one looks like. It's a really pretty like kind of ombre brown. This one I really enjoy hot or iced. So it's really good to have. I haven't had this one in a while. So I just wanted a little bit of a restock as well. Next is going to be Bianco Piccolo. Now this one is one of my most favorites. Uh, and this one is a single espresso shot, or like a single espresso pod. This one is 270 ml. So this is what it looks like. And again, this is a single shot. So comparing it to double espresso Dolce, which is a double shot, um, this is a little bit of a difference here. If you can see that. So this I actually use two pods of this. So I go through these sleeves pretty quickly, faster than I do my other sleeves. So I always try to restock on this before this order. My last order, I believe I ordered like five sleeves of these and I went through that really quickly just because again, I do use two pods of this and this is one of my favorite ones for my lattes. All of these are my favorite, so I'm gonna keep saying that. Next is Arapio. This is what this box looks like. If it'll focus. And this one as well is, remember, a single shot. So this is what this one looks like. Like a nice little orange color. So this one as well, I haven't had this one, I think, since around fall time or around Christmas when I was doing the advent calendar. This is really good for hot or ice lattes. It's a single shot, so again, I would use two pods of these, but it's really good to have. And just to kind of go over them, like they go, Nespresso pods go on different levels. So Arafio right here is a level six. Bianco Piccolo, it doesn't say, but this one's mostly for milk. Double Espresso Dolce is a level five. And then Melozio is a level six, and it goes all the way up to like 11. I believe it's like level 11. But these are all the pods that I got for my virtual machine. Next, we're going to our original line machine. Again, I have the Cretista. So the first one that I ordered, again, another restock, is the Tokyo Longo. This is what that sleeve looked like. Now, I really enjoy Lungos. This is one of the Lungos that I really like. Lungo is just a little bit more water than like a, your regular espresso shot. I've done this both ways, like brewing it as an espresso shot and a Lungo shot. But this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. And this one, I love pairing it with vanilla. Anything vanilla, I've really enjoyed this so far. And I like this more hot. Usually, like I said, I lean more towards the iced drinks but this one I really enjoy hot so if I'm in the mood of something warm in the morning or if it's like a really chilly day I will definitely pick this one up and this one out of a level 13 it's a six next is Vienna so this is a Vienna Lungo this is what this sleeve looks like again another good Lungo to have and again I brewed this one both ways and this one I've enjoyed hot or iced this is what this pot looks like these are really good. Again, just a restock that I've picked up. It's really good to have. Again, if I want something warm, I'll pick it up. Or if I want something iced, this pairs really well. I believe this one I drink a lot with like cream caramel, caramels, um, and also vanillas. I do, I do mostly all of my pods with vanilla. So, so far I've really enjoyed most of them with vanilla. But this one I know for sure that I like caramel. And this one out of a level 13, it's a level six. 
Next is going to be the Stockholm Lungo. This was like one of the first Lungos that I've tried and it forever holds my heart. I really enjoy this one. This one like warm. Oh, this one's another warm one that I really enjoy. But I've had this one iced as well. Again, I brewed it as a Lungo or an espresso shot and it's really good to have in your collection. This one I really enjoyed with cream caramel. I remember the first time when I tried it, um, it was cream caramel like vanilla and oh, that one's just so good, so, so good. And this is what this pod looks like. It's really pretty, it'll focus, it's really pretty. And again, I've brewed this special shot, longo shot, or even hotter iced. But this one I think is one of the ones that I enjoy more for sure. And this one is a level eight. Now with the levels, I'm always stick between like a six to an eight on both lines. I don't really like like those super strong coffees. I'm more like a medium roast, maybe dark roast. I haven't found one that I like from Nespresso. So I try to stick between those, like the level intensity. So the next is Miami. This one's really good to have. I really enjoy this one iced. I do not like this one warm. It is very strong. This one's a level nine. And this one you can brew as a ristretto or an espresso. The machine that I had before my Cretista was actually the Essenza Mini. So I only had either like the Lungo or the espresso shot option. With this one you have a little bit more. But this one I've only enjoyed as an espresso shot. And again, only ice and only around during the summertime I've noticed that I um, picked this one up. And this is what this one looks like. And again, really pretty packaging. I love all of espresso's packaging. It's really fun. And this one, again, is gonna be a level nine. Now the last one from this order that I picked up is going to be Paris Espresso. This one, when it came out, automatically thought vanilla and warm. This one, I really enjoy hot as well. I realized I picked up a lot of ones from original line that I enjoy hot. But this one you can do, this one's an espresso and this one's a level six. This one, oh my goodness, the first time I tried it, so good vanilla. And this is what this one looks like. It's really fun packaging again. And this one, I don't believe I've tried it iced. I've had too many reels for me to remember like on my Instagram. It's just a really good standard one to have if you wanna try it hot or iced, but this one I really enjoy warm. And I did also wanna share, I did pick up like the newer ones. So let me pull those out and let me show you which ones I'm talking about. Okay, so these three that I've picked up is more of like the newer launches that they just came out with. So this one is for original line. And this one is the filtered styled mild. This is what this one looks like. And with this one, you actually have a little peel and um, you put it into your machine and you run it as a lungo first. And then you do, you rerun it as an espresso shot. And this one is really mild. I tried it yesterday and it's a very mild flavor. I paired it with vanilla creamer from Chobani and some whipped cream. Uh, one of my fellow coffee friends, Cafe Consuli, um, on Instagram, she recommended to try it like that and definitely took notes and listened. And I made sure that I tried it that way and I really enjoyed it. It was hot. I don't think I want to enjoy that one cold just because it is very mild. They do have like a stronger version of this one. I might pick it up next time. That one's one of the newer ones and that one's okay, but it was good to try. Next is one that's some, that I feel like everyone's been really enjoying. It's that Starbucks Reserve one. And this one is a double shot, so this is what it looks like. And this is the back of it. I this I was actually surprised. This isn't anything like that I will go, will go back and repurchase because I believe the sleeve is a little bit more expensive than your regular double espresso pods that they usually sell. So this one was just like the Starbucks Reserve one that they just came out with. This one's okay, I've tried it hot. I enjoy this one a little bit more hot than I do iced, which I'm surprised because I thought I was gonna enjoy this one iced. I don't know, I don't think I'll ever purchase this sleeve again. It was good to try, but I'm usually not a fan of like the Nespresso Starbucks pods because I know they also sell them at Target. So whenever I do pick those up, I usually only do blonde or like the pipe rose because this one's okay. If you want to try this one, it's obviously if you want to pick this one up, it's also available. And then the last one, which I've seen is like you either really enjoy it or you don't, is the double espresso juicy watermelon over ice. Let's see if it'll pick it up. This pot is so pretty. I don't know if it's just my lighting not picking it up. It's super pretty. Now this one, I already knew that I wasn't gonna enjoy it um, over sparkling water. So what I did, for some reason I was thinking in my mind, do half and half ice um, cane sugar or like cane sugar syrup and then the pod. So good that way. So the syrup that I pair it with, let me bring it, is actually this one, the Tarani cane sugar one. So I really enjoy this pod with um, half and half, 
the cane sugar syrup, ice, and then obviously this over top. I don't brew it automatically on top of ice because I feel like that takes away the flavor. So this I'll just brew it in like a regular cup, let it cool a little bit, and then I'll add it. Or I always do the espresso, the syrup, the espresso, mix it in, and then I put my cold liquid, which is the half and half, and then ice. That way it doesn't get melted down like the ice with the hot espresso. But this one's really good. It does taste, to me, it tasted like a Jolly Rancher for sure. You definitely get that watermelon brewing smell, Jolly Rancher taste. So if you're into it, I would recommend it. I've tried it only that way. I don't see myself trying it with sparkling water or anything like other than the half and half, but this one's a really good one to try. And that concludes my little mini haul of Nespresso Pod. I'm definitely gonna do it more here than I do on my Instagram, so make sure to follow my Instagram if you wanna see my daily coffee of the day. Make sure to follow me. I'll put everything in the description below. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these pods. Again, my the machines that I have from Nespresso is a Nespresso Cretista and then the Nespresso Vertua Plus. And thank you so much for, for watching. I hope you have a good one.